I, Donald Campbell Dewar. Destined to lead the Parliament arrived to see the settled will of the Scottish people finally instituted without knowing the composition of the new government. Uh, it's uh, an ambition for many of us um, held and fought for over many years and I'm thrilled to see it coming to fruition. Investing in education, 
the new school buildings, the new college buildings, the uh, free, care, free, free uh, bus travel for the elderly. Uh, the, the list goes on and on, and it's, uh, it's, it's actually, when you think back, it's a phenomenal amount of work. It is about yeah. 10 years now. Um, yeah. Let's start thinking. And we're both here. And we're, we're both here. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm still here, you're right. Absolutely. For a wee while. And uh, let's think ahead. I mean, I, I just want to mention two things. I better get in first because otherwise you'll see everything again. One I think is accountability. And we, the, the nationalists use a different term. Mm -hmm. But I, I think the sooner we can get uh, the Scottish Parliament accountable for the money that it spends, the better. Mm -hmm. And that's finding a way. Uh, that it can raise its own money mm -hmm. and make decisions uh, about how much to raise and how much to spend. And that's what Calvin is looking mm -hmm. at at the moment. And I, I think the second I think, which is a bit further ahead, is once we can persuade our uh, colleagues in England to finish the scheme and have some kind of English mm -hmm. parliament, I think that would be mm -hmm. a good thing from the Scottish Parliament's point of view. And I think it would mean that we would have a stable system in the United Kingdom and our friends in the SNP wouldn't have uh, the kind of grievances to play upon that they do at the moment. Mm -hmm. what, do, what do you think about the next few years ahead? Well, I think that the most, the, the, to me, the most predictable thing about the next ten years is that it's unpredictable. Yes. You know, we would never ten years ago we would never have imagined that Donald would have died in office, that the, mm -hmm. this room would have been created. We would never have imagined some of the, even some of the policy issues. Uh, the ban on smoking in public places wasn't in anybody's manifesto. Uh, you know, it was an idea that came out of debate and and, uh, and an examination of the issues and coming up with a solution to that. Conclusion. Incidentally, I proposed that. Mm -hmm. as a private member of the Westminster in 1982 Absolutely. and was laughed out. So it yeah. shows you how far things have gone. And, you moved it and I think it was inconceivable. It's inconceivable today that Scotland wouldn't have a parliament. The real achievement of the parliament is to become embedded in national life in Scotland. And I think the next 10 years will be unpredictable. I think the issues you raise are, are going to be there over those 10 years, getting the financial system right, getting uh, the rest of the UK comfortable with this uh, um, uh, new arrangement. But at the same time, uh, what we really need in Scotland is also new policy ideas that uh, generate some debate for the next generation to take forward. And those that follow you and I in this parliament mm -hmm. Uh, we'll have some ideas together. So I think uh, it is here to stay, maybe not in exactly its present form, but as part of the United Kingdom. And uh, it, it's uh, something that Donald Dewar, as we sit here in the Donald Dewar room, and I could be very proud to be the architect of. And he could make, he could make you, he could frighten you at times, <laughs> make you think, oh my God, am I really, do I really think that? Have I got it right? That's a great picture. That's it's, nice. it's a nice one. Carry you.